My name is Stephen Sindoni. Thank you for listening to the Hollow Earth Revealed. As a direct result of my research on the legend of J.C. Brown, I stumbled upon many ancient myths and native legends regarding the origin of man. Mount Shasta is called by many the Magic Mountain. I will now share with you information that I have collected. It is believed that the great kingdom of Lemuria was located in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, was destroyed by Atlantis in a great war that led to a cataclysmic destruction of Atlantis and Mu. Mu was a great city on the surface of what is now the Gobi Desert. It had two satellite cities by the name of Agartha Alpha and Beta that survived the destruction. These elder races came to this planet from another solar system in our prehistoric past. After a time living on the surface, they realized our sun was causing them to age prematurely. So they escaped underground, building huge subterranean complexes in which to live. In Buddhist theory, it is believed that a race of supermen and superwomen occasionally came up to the surface to oversee the development of the human race. It is believed that this subterranean world has millions of inhabitants and many cities, its capital being Shambhala. Ancient philosophy states that Agartha was first colonized thousands of years ago when a holy man led a tribe to the underground. Hindu theory describes in the Ramanya, one of the most famous texts of India, a story about the great avatar Rama. It describes Rama as an emissary from Agartha who arrived in an air vehicle. According to this legend, the deep dwellers are described as a very advanced race or species with a highly developed technology. In Tibet, there is a magical mystical shrine called Patala, which is said by the people that the shrine sits atop of an ancient cavern and tunnel system which reaches throughout the Asian continent and possibly beyond. Hopi legend says that Mount Shasta is one of the 13 homes of the lizard people, Reptoids. Native American Indian tribes of California claim that Mount Shasta is the inner mountain dwelling place of an invisible race of man. Still many more accounts describe the mountain as an inlet to the ancient Lemurian world and that the Lemurian survivors still live today in the tunnels of dead volcanoes. The most remarkable stories are the ones about Lemurians living in roundhouses and enjoying unlimited health and wealth and true brotherhood. The Lemurians living underground beneath the mountain are commonly described as graceful and tall, seven feet and up, with long flowing hair. They dress in white robes and sandals, but they have also been seen in colorful clothing. They have evolved their sixth sense, which enables them to communicate among themselves by extrasensory perception. They can also teleport and make themselves invisible at will. The Lemurians supposedly have mastered atomic energy, telepathic and clairvoyant skills, electronics, and science as long as 18,000 years ago. Back then, they knew how to propel boats using energy radiated from crystals. They had airships and flew them to Atlantis and Mew and other places. Today it is said they have a whole fleet of spaceships called the Silver Fleet with which they come in and out of the mountain and go into space. They also have the ability to make their spaceships invisible and soundless to avoid being detected by the local and national military. Though they are third dimensional people in nature, they are able to shift their energy field into fourth and fifth dimension and become invisible at will within seconds. Many people report seeing strange lights on the mountain. One explanation is that there are spacecrafts coming and going from a spaceport within the mountain. Mount Shasta is not only a home for the Lemurians but is also an interplanetary and intergalactical multi-dimensional portal. I myself have been a witness to strange craft coming out of Mount Adams in Washington. With my own eyes I have observed UFO activity that defy conventional wisdom. It is my opinion that we are not alone in this universe. The answers to our ancient past may be hidden in the hollow earth.